PlayStation VR 2 may have just received its best mech game yet. And it is absolutely a lot better than how I imagined it would be. Stick with me until the end of this video to find out exactly how. Yep, I'm getting the hang of it. Hello everyone and welcome to Nothing But Gaming. Today we are talking about Big Shots. Now, this is a game that just released yesterday, April 18th, on PlayStation VR 2, but also on Steam VR and MetaQuest, so pretty much on every major VR platform. Although I have only tried this game on PSVR 2, and big shout out to the developer by the way, Alter Eyes, for providing me with a review key, but the experience should be quite similar if you plan to pick this one up on Steam VR or on the MetaQuest store. Let's start with the basics here. What is Big Shots? Well, Big Shots is a VR roguelite. Mm-hmm, roguelite. You heard that correct. Now I know what you're thinking. I know a lot of you guys don't like roguelites, and trust me, I'm in the same boat as you guys are. I usually don't like roguelites like at all. But don't leave the video just yet because you might just be surprised with this one. Like I said, it is a PvE, online cross-platform, co-op VR roguelite mech shooter, so you can play with your buddy that has a Quest 3 or a PC VR, which is nice by the way, where you fight endless alien hordes in your overpowered sick mech, and earn upgrades to become the ultimate mech pilot. So basically you have 6 waves of alien to butcher, and at the end of the final wave you get an alien boss. That's pretty much the concept of the game. You can play this game solo if you choose to, although I don't recommend that and the reason being is that this game truly shines when you play with a friend. I mean it's okay if you play solo as you would still have some fun, but that's not really the best way to experience this game, at least in my opinion. Okay, let's say you bought the game and you just put it up for the first time. How does the game look like? What kind of impression does it give you? Well, if you want to see my first impressions, then I'll have a link to my first impressions livestream that I did yesterday in the description below, so check that out if you're interested. But yeah, I can confidently say that your first impressions would probably be very positive, just like mine were. And that is because from the moment the game opens up and you find yourself in this awesome sick mech, you soon realize that this game looks super super sharp. Seriously guys, I'm not joking when I say this has to be one of the sharpest game I have ever played on my PSVR 2, no doubt. The interiors of the Mac look very sharp and highly detailed, you have a bunch of screens, bunch of writings, and those writings inside the Mac are so sharp, and so clear that you can read easily anything that's written in there, without paying much effort, which as you guys know is not really something that's given in VR games. And yeah, you immediately have that sense of scale of being inside of a large beefy Mac. So as far as initial impressions go, Alter Eyes couldn't have done it better. Okay, so we talked about the mech and its interiors being so sharp and detailed, how about everything else in the game? The environments, the enemies? Before I can give you an answer to that, I have a small favor to ask you if you're enjoying this review so far and if you want to encourage me to keep putting out PSVR 2 content like this, then please consider supporting me by hitting that subscribe button. We're currently on our way to 1000 subscribers and I know I can count on you guys to help me achieve that milestone. So let's make it happen. Thanks a lot for your support. Okay now getting back to our review, I must say that I'm very impressed with the overall sharpness of the game. The maps are very sharp, you can see everything clearly even from a distance. The enemies are also very sharp and can easily be seen. Although they look pretty silly, but more on that in a second. And even though I'm usually not into cartoonish styled games like this, I must admit, I really love the art style here. I have seen 3 maps in this game so far, and they all have a simple yet effective design. Sure, they're pretty basic, as you won't find a lot of objects in them, and they're like 70% rocks, 30% steel. But they do offer some verticality, which definitely helps in keeping things interesting. So if you ask me to describe the maps and the environments in this game in three words, I would probably say simple, yet effective. So unless you really, really hate cartoonish environments like this, like you can't stand them kind of hate, unless you're that person, I think you're gonna like these maps. Now, as for the enemies, that's a different story. They just look so silly. They're detailed, sharp, clear, but super silly. And even the bosses look silly as well. 
During my time with the game, I did not really feel threatened at all. I mean, in other games, it would feel like fighting for my life in there. But in Big Shots, I basically didn't care if I die or not. They just look so silly, and I couldn't take them seriously, no matter how hard I tried. For you, that can be a good thing or a bad thing, it depends on the type of gamer you are. But if you walk into Big Shots just looking to have some fun with your friend, and not take things too seriously, then I think you're gonna enjoy your time with these weird, cute little aliens. Besides, it is clearly the cartoonish nature of the game that allowed it to look this sharp in the first place. It's not a heavy game. And you would know that from the second you hit that download button. Oh, and by the way, listen to the sneezing like noises that these small things make when they attack. How adorable. <laughs> They sound like they're sneezing. <laughs> now, let's talk about the thing that matters the most. The thing that makes this game really special. The gameplay and the gameplay mechanics. I'm just gonna cut to the chase here and say that, although this is Alter Eye's first big VR game, they still managed somehow to nail down everything gameplay related in this game, hands down. Everything works seamlessly and flawlessly, well, almost flawlessly, as I did encounter a game break and bug, which I'll talk about in just a second, but really, they did a phenomenal job at ensuring that the player truly feels like they're a mech pilot. There are a lot of VR AF mechanics in here, other than grabbing your controllers with both hands of course, there's a lever that you can slide to invert your drag rotation, speaking of rotation, this game offers a unique rotation option, and it's actually the one chosen by default, it's called drag rotation. If you choose to play with this option, then you have to press X with the right controller or square with your left controller, and literally drag a controller in order for the camera to rotate. I found this weird honestly, maybe they implemented this for comfort purposes? I don't know, but what I do know is that this shouldn't be a problem since the game features both snap and smooth rotations as options as well. But I have to let you know that the first time I tried switching to smooth rotation, I experienced a game breaking bug in which I was literally stuck and I couldn't move. Well, not until I switched back to a drag rotation at least. Anyways, after that everything went back to normal. On your right hand you have a radar that pins down your enemy's locations, so you should always keep an eye on that one. Below that radar you have a little screen that shows you information like your health status and whatnot. Go a little bit more to the right and you'll find your canister dispenser. So when you have a canister available, you can pull it out of the dispenser and then place it in the canister receptacle. And finally on top of the canister dispenser, there's another screen that shows if you're connected to your friend or not, with two buttons that you can press, one for muting slash unmuting your friend, and the other is for turning on or off your mic. On your left hand, and other than the inverse drag rotation lever, you have two big screens showing you more information on the game, like the number of enemies you just killed, the time that you're spending during your mission, etc etc, and you also have a dash meter. Alright, we talked about what's on your right hand and what's on your left hand. What else did we miss? That's right, the thing that is in between your legs and you operate it with just one hand by pulling it upwards. I'm talking about the jumping handle of course, and what a handle it is. Seriously guys, jokes aside, it feels so good to jump in this mech. I really felt like I was gonna fly the first time I tried it. It's smooth and it feels awesome. Speaking of smoothness, the entire game is really smooth. I didn't experience any frame drops or any sort of those issues. I did not really notice any Mura effect either, so I can see VR newbies playing this game for long sessions without getting motion sickness, which is always great. Getting back to the gameplay side of things, you can dash by pressing R3 or L3 and you swap your weapons by pressing circle or triangle. The weapons feel good and there is a good variety in there from shotguns to flamethrowers etc. The haptics are awesome and on point, the enemy AI seems on point as well. You have 6 waves of aliens to deal with in every level, with the first wave being a piece of cake and the last wave being really challenging. So the difficulty of the game goes up the more you progress in the level. After each wave, the game recompensate your efforts by giving you 3 random upgrades to choose from for your next wave. And once in a while you get a drop pod which if you manage to successfully protect, 
you will get some loot or some upgrade if you're lucky. So yeah, the core gameplay is really super fun and addictive, it just takes a little bit of getting used to and after that you should be slaying. I should also mention that when you go to the hangar, there is a lot of customizations and upgrades that you can apply to your mech. You unlock those of course with the in-game currency that you can obtain by playing the game. The soundtrack of this game is good, nothing crazy but certainly not bad at all, it does a good job in keeping you engaged and focused on the game. Now let's talk about something that I did not like about this game. The enemies are very repetitive, so the variety here is not that great at all. If you want people to go back to your game, you gotta have many types of enemies otherwise people will get bored soon. So hopefully the devs are already working on that. Another thing I would want to see is a roadmap, or an official confirmation from the developers that there will be more content to come. The foundation of this game is solid, no doubt about that, but it's not enough to keep players coming back, so it definitely needs more content. And by content I mean new maps, new enemy types, new soundtrack, new elements to interact with in the maps, you get the idea. But as for now, I think this is the best VR mech game I have ever played, I had a lot of fun with this one. Love the overall graphical presentation, the gameplay mechanics, the gameplay loop, the haptics. There is really not much to dislike about this game and that is why I am giving it a solid 7 out of 10. That's all I have to say about Big Shots, if you made it this far in this video, thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel for more reviews like this, hit that like button, hit that bell notifications icon, that way you'll be notified every time a new video drops. Let me know in the comments if you'll be getting big shots or not. Also make sure you follow me on Facebook and on Twitter as I'm currently doing a big shots giveaway there. So if you want to find out more make sure you follow me. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.